possible because you can't raise the energy in a three-minute ejaculation. The energy won't raise. There's a lot of techniques. I'm not going to go on over them here because this is about identifying the, um, um, the fallen ones and what happened to them or where they at. Okay, so now you've seen them in Genesis 6, right? When they married the daughters of men. When you get to Psalms 82, they give you a whole discourse about um, the royal family um, being gods and flesh and falling like the princes and dying like men. It's telling you about your reincarnation cycle or uh, we can walk in too. If you want to know about walk-ins, the book is by Ruth Montgomery. And I think it's called Strangers Among Us. And they talk about the walk-ins in detail. And there's not a whole lot of people that can understand it. Not necessarily. Your pineal gland can be calcified and you can still have your psychic abilities intact. It's just that it'll be more difficult or restricted in how much of it you assimilate. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. You have a child born that can see stuff naturally. And over the years, um, his pineal gland um, start to calcify the same as regular. But then something happens, but he can still see. But it's calcified. Now, the pineal gland in and of itself is not the only part of the awakening process. When they focus on the pineal um, gland, um, they are talking specifically about the third eye alone. They're not talking about the third eye and the... Um, Ascension. They're just talking about seeing clairvoyantly when they're talking about the DMT and the um, and the pineal gland. You have a bigger portion of the brain called anterior gyrus that is your direct hot spot to source, meaning that um, it's the high speed internet version of talking to God. And just go through your um, anterior gyrus. It's about a spot about that big, probably about the size of a small plum in the brain on the right hemisphere. When God try to talk to you or give you information, Yeah, I ain't, I ain't really too much, you know, I, I could do this thing celibate. But, you know, when you be trying to heal people, they, they still think you under the curse. They think you on some, some sex shit. And they tend to look at it from uh, a slanted view. And the gods are more likely to be falsely accused of crimes. Um... They more likely to be arrested on trumped up charges, uh, moved from positions of power. We they know who we all are. It can't be a secret if the plan is already laid. Now, if the plan is already laid, there has to be an end to it. It's an end game. This is the end game I'm giving y'all, because y'all have to know what the punishment was. So. Black people kicking and screaming about how bad white people have been treating them for 400 years. I got some real bad news for black people. You're not punished for your sins. You're punished by your sins. The dirt you did is the dirt you getting back. But here's the kicker. The volume been turned down on your discrimination because you couldn't have handled the shit that them people went through. That's why you ain't want to touch them. That's not right. You 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 mad now because you ain't allowed to have shit. You ain't allowed to do shit, be shit, and become shit. For 400 years, you've been going through this demeaned position in the global society. How did you get here? How the fuck did you get here? Why are you here? 
And if you the baddest motherfuckers ever bred on this planet, why you at the bottom of the goddamn barrel and how did you get there? You don't know none of the answers to that shit. Then you can stop crying about what the white man doing to you and look at the shit for what it is. The white man ain't doing nothing to you. What the fuck are we doing to him? Using him for a weapon against each other. That's what we doing to him. White supremacy wasn't written by white people. I hate to be the one to disappoint y'all. But I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell it like it is. You just going to have to be disappointed. Um, all of the social issues that we complain about are part of the fucking punishment for doing the dirt we did. Or the dirt we let them do, I should say, because we ain't the ones did it. The invaders did the dirt, and we stood by. We didn't do what a guardian is supposed to do. When you see some, when you babysitting and you see the kids about to fuck some shit up, you're supposed to stop them. We ain't stop them. And y'all want to know why we had to pay for the shit. Well, we all didn't. Only one of us was willing to pay for it in full with his own motherfucking shit. One motherfucker. Because mama say you can't just throw people away like trash. And that's exactly what Inky did. Following his brother's orders because he was outranked. They threw them people away in Europe. And Ia's rope. Ia is inky. Ia is inky. When they say they threw him away in Europe, they ain't lying. And that's why Ivan Van Sertima had to go and find African presidents early Europe. Because it wasn't no Europeans before 10,000 years ago. What none. When you see him talking about Cro-Magnons, Australopithecus, and Neanderthals, them was niggas. That's what they call us today. Them was niggas. Them was thugs. Them was us. Wasn't no, wasn't no pale-skinned European. So what did we do? What was the cleanup? What was the remedy? In order for everybody to be on an equal playing field, on the same level, first of all, them people needed to be able to rule an empire. They came from being perpetual servants. It's in your books. It ain't no secret. It's in all your books. Now you want to bitch, cry, moan, kick and scream about injustice and inequality when you created this shit. If you didn't create it, you stood by and let it happen. And mama said, well, baby, the sealer is as good as the stiller. That's right. That's right, Portia. You know the thuggy was uh uh was was Queen Kylie way of, of, of keeping the balance of wealth. Um with her Robin Hoods. With her Robin Hoods. They was robbing the hood. Anyway, so <clears throat> um when we was expecting that they would clean that shit up. And they had no plan for it. Somebody had to clean that shit up. Somebody had to clean up the dirt they dropped over there. So when the queen gave the order, because she did give the order, it wouldn't have never happened. What they call your 200 fallen didn't fall. They came to clean up the shit. Clean up that genetic mess. They had to answer the grievance to the God that said we have no right to a sin and no right to eternal life. All we do is work, die, and that's the end of us. What about us? It's in there. Wisdom of Solomon. Look it up. Don't believe me. Go check that shit out. Stop letting these motherfuckers trick y'all. Y'all know what the hell going on in the world. So if they don't got a right to a sin. Now remember in Genesis... They didn't get kicked out for assimilating the knowledge, good and evil. They got kicked out to prevent the consumption of the tree of life. Well, where is this tree? How big is it? How tall is it? How deep do the roots go? Is it on the earth or is it in the uh, astral? 
Is it on another planet? Is it on a ship? Um, is it a bonsai tree? Is it held in somebody's personal motherfucking garden? Where is this goddamn tree of life? It's in you. See, your chakras was blocked. Um, as a European, they had five of seven chakras blocked. They only had um, sacral chakra and second chakra, which is between the um, the pelvic bone and the navel. And then once they was able to assimilate that knowledge, it was a barrier put in play. They put a parasite that can be passed on genetically in the DNA into the uh, central nervous system. And it causes the Stephen Hawking effect. It causes, uh, what's that shit called? Huntington's Graves disease. It causes the brain to die at a rapid rate. But it only affects the left hemisphere and it causes them to start having a palsy and the atrophy because there's too much information. The brain can't fire. Now, if you want to know a little more about it, then you can understand it a little better. Dr. Francis Cress Wells has a debate with a eugenicist from the 70s. And in that debate, she is describing the Huntington's grave disease and its effect. And that... Um, this was a major issue with eugenics and the eugenics philosophy. Now, the eugenics philosophy is exactly the opposite of what they're telling you it is. So the eugenics philosophy is the cleaning up the genes so that um, the undesirables doesn't reproduce. So what do they what do they mean by the undesirables? You read they. You got to read the eugenics manifestos, they um, reports and they writings. The, those who have birth defects was considered as the undesirables that they didn't want to procreate. And the only way that this is possible on earth with the genes on earth. Now you got to keep in mind, we on earth so we're going to deal with it from an earth angle. When you look at all of the DNA on earth, the only DNA that can clean up the Huntington's grave disease is Dogon DNA or Zulu DNA or one of the what they call sister tribes because of something known as the healing factor or the recovery factor in the blood. What this does is it allows it to capture a birth defect in utero, basically wrap it up and spit it out before it can manifest in the child. But in order to maintain the status quo, they have to artificially create birth defects. Why do they have to artificially create birth defects? In order for the eugenics to perfect, in order for eugenics to effectuate the needed cleanup of the genetic defect, in order for it to work, it has to be a system in play where it's a misdirection. Or because just like um, no self-respecting African would um, date or sleep with Europeans um, before the cleanup started, Europeans didn't too much care about Africans either. It was a xenophobia, the fear of strangers that... Um, is the reason the Europeans, they didn't trust nobody because all they knew was deceit, treachery from people that don't look like them. So now when we're talking about racism and political differences and divide and conquer, we got to trace this shit back to the source. If you look at it for what it is, there's nobody European that was smart enough to raise Plato and Socrates to become a Plato and Socrates. They had to go to Africa. There was nobody in Europe capable enough to raise an Alexander as a leader um, or a Napoleon. All these guys had to be taught by Africans. And, and, and not, it's not a secret. This is a kicker. It's not a secret. 
when you go find out the generals that um, Napoleon studied and studied under, most of them was Africans. That was just only 200 years ago, 1800s. When you go and study who taught um, Aristotle, Socrates, Plato, Leonardo, Da Vinci, they all learned from Egyptian priests. So who the fuck gave them the power to take over and subjugate what was supposed to be superior people? Now y'all talk about y'all gods, the black gods, y'all ain't doing no god shit. Now, when I say y'all not doing no God shit, y'all doing the same thing you've been doing ever since you've been oppressed, expecting the oppression to change. Guys don't operate like that. Guys don't operate like that. Y'all been doing the same thing, expecting a different result. It ain't working. That's not God shit. If you say you God, Right? If you say you God, explain to me what's the difference between a God and a man. All right? Now, I want you to explain to me the difference. Show me what a God do. Show me a God. Show me a man. Explain to me the difference in the two, as Dr. Fuller would say. You can't tell me Look in the mirror and know I'm God. I can do that shit all day long. It's not going to affect any change. What's going to cause the changes we need in order to change the condition of the people? It's not hard. You ain't got to do no God shit. You could do some smart man shit to figure this shit out. It ain't even hard. It ain't even hard. First, you got to know that ain't no white people behind this oppression. Nowhere on earth. Nowhere on earth. No matter how powerful they look to you, white people ain't running this shit. I'm flat out tell you, the white man ain't behind this. History say it's not possible. Science say it's not possible. So I'm going to have to roll with the history and science. Even the religion say it's not possible. White man ain't behind it. Because when it started, he wasn't even here. He didn't even think about that part. Did. When it started, it wasn't no white folks. When the dirt started, wasn't no white people. So how are we going to blame it all on the white man? When the dirt started, wasn't no white folks. Now, they've been deceiving us. Let me get to the final part of this, which is about the political prisoners. Because I think by now we ought to all know what happened to the gods that amalgamated with the humans and how do we locate them. It's one of us Ain't like none of the rest of us. One of us is the baddest motherfucker ever born. One of us. I don't, one of us. And it ain't going to be no secret too much longer. So I sit back and I listen to the grievances. And one of the grievances is about what we call the Grail Kings. The Grail Kings being held without tribute, held without honor. In hell without respect. And you want to know why. This is the grievance I'm getting. And the grievance concerns. People like. Jeff Ford. Uh, Imam Abu Jamal. Uh, Mumia Abu Jamal. Uh, Jeff Ford. Larry Hoover. Malachi York. Suge Knight. Big Meech. Anyway, so all the grievances is the same. Is the leaders that we pick get took out the picture, and that the Hellenized leaders they want us to have get promoted. So this is the grievance. This is the remedy. The resolution for the grievance is the class action lawsuit of anybody with a case stemming from a drug conviction, and this is why. According to 42 United States Code, 1983, the color of state law, or the color of law, actually, 19 United States Code, 242, and 18 United States Code, 242. These are actionable offenses that the government can commit against a, a, a citizen by creating a condition where the citizen commits a crime 
but they are actually acting as a de facto agent of the state. All of the, anybody with a drug case in America need to be part of the class action. Anybody with a murder, robbery, uh, home invasion, or anything.